Hi, I'm Parm from Talent, and today I'd like to give you guys a quick overview of our features or integration with Clatter, and specifically Clatter distribution of Hadoop or CDH. What we've done, we've developed an extensive set of connectors that allow customers to integrate all their uh, existing data, almost any source, into the CDH cluster, as well as uh, connectors to do data processing inside Hadoop, and a complete metadata layer to manage, explore, and analyze uh, the metadata and data sources that already exist inside Hadoop. So let me start actually by demonstrating of our IO connectors around Hadoop. Uh, these connectors allow customers to link their data all from almost any source into HDFS Hive or HBase. So these connectors lie in a few different categories here. Uh, for example, underneath File Hadoop, I have my HDFS connectors. Uh, underneath Scoop, uh, you can see our scoop connectors, which leverage the scoop utility within CDH, as well as connectors for Hive and HBase here uh, underneath our database category. So potentially what we've done, we've made it very easy for users to connect these connectors to almost any other connector that's available in Talent. So for example, to give you a quick demo, if I want to read data from Oracle, I can go into the Oracle category, place an Oracle input connector on my job, and if I want to land this into HDFS, I can just go into the HDFS con directory and place an HDFS connector here and connect these two together. Of course, uh, as I said, this is not limited just by database series of connectors. Uh, you can go to almost any connector that's in Talent, for example, in SAP. If I want to read data from SAP and update that into HDFS, it's just to replace this connector, this link, into uh, or from the SAP connection. Uh, I can, again, write this data to almost to anything, so uh, if I wanted to also land this into HBase, I can go into the HBase category, place an HBase connector, and create the data flow. Of course, this uh, flow is also available backwards, so you can also read data from HBase or HDFS and output that into Oracle or SAP or any other target that uh, you desire. Finally, uh, you can also uh, you know, do a whole of, of transformations or aggregations before landing the data into actually HDFS or HBase. So here in the example I have above, uh, I've used other Italian connectors to read data from MySQL, do some filtration, uh, do a level of mapping and join to other sources, and finally land that into HDFS. Of course, everything's done graphically, so if I go into my mapping, you can see a joined my data into different sources, uh, I've mapped it into my output, and I've also done some uh, basic transformation here before landing that into HDFS. Now once the data is loaded into Hadoop, you can use Talent to create a series of data processing job that leverages the Hadoop cluster itself. Uh, let me start by doing transformations inside Hive. In here, potentially what we've allowed users to do, to use our traditional ELT connectors to design a series of data transformation flows that use Hive and HiveQL for execution. Again, everything's done graphically. As you can see here, I have a few different tables in Hive that I'm connecting together, doing some mapping and transformation, and landing this into another Hive table. Coming down here, I'm using our SQL uh, template feature to do a final aggregation into a rollup table. Uh, let's drill into the mapping here. You can see that we can allow users to graphically create joins between the different sources, uh, map their data into their final output by just dragging and dropping the columns over, doing any sort of transformations by just entering the Hive transformations here, or doing complex filtering or aggregations of the data on top. Now what happens here, Talent would actually generate a Hive query that's passed into the Hive server to do the data transformation and aggregation. We also have a second series of connectors to doing data transformation inside Hadoop. These connectors lie underneath our processing Hadoop category. Uh, these connectors are actually designed to, for using PIG for doing data transformation. You can see a whole series of PIG connectors here that would allow complex uh, PIG transformations uh, like filtration, join, aggregation, and other sort of operations. Using these connectors are pretty straightforward. I have a sample flow here that uh, reads data off HDFS, does some filtering, aggregations, and then lands the data actually back into HDFS. If I wanted to add to this flow, I can just 
uh, easily go into my processing category again. Uh, for example, if I wanted to do a joint, I can just drag and drop a joint into the flow. Uh, if I wanted to do a sort, uh, same thing, just drag and drop the sort connector. And Talon would create the actual pick script that's eventually transformed into a map, series of map reduce job to do the data processing. This pretty much wraps up my time for the short demo today. If you're interested, please go to our website at www.talon.com to find more information. Thank you for listening and have a great day.